Hi to whoever's just joined us. I'm just checking my uh, my live stream and the chat. got three joined us so far and I've got one like so we're looking all right aren't we all right um, can you let me know whether or not you can hear me I think it should be all right I'll just show you quickly what I'm looking at over here so that's my panel as I'm looking at it Hi Carol, how are you doing? Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Nice to see you. Yeah, I'm doing great Carol. Um, pretty good actually, not bad. Um, yeah, I've started um, started uh, working from home doing uh, small business support. You can hear me, is it clear? Yeah. I'm having to crane and look over here um, to see the feedback um, because I want to be captured looking at you this time. Because uh, so, um, hi niece, thank you very much. That's niece in London, niece Aragon. So uh, the purpose of this live is. Um, as you might have guessed from this screen, is to discuss the U Food Challenge. And uh, if you want upload instructions, just email me at ufood at lazycookpeat.com. And that is a specific email address just for this um, just for this challenge. And uh, I'll send you details individually and privately as to where to upload your recipes menus pictures whatever and um, I'll make a video of it or maybe two if we get enough response so I got the idea from uh, my dear friend Reshmi at um, Taste of Trini channel she did a thing um, a couple of years back called Mako Your Kitchen and uh, that was rather popular at the time, and we got a couple of good videos out of it. I've got to open a widget, apparently. Apparently there's some kind of latency issue. Well, there's not much you can do about that. Unless I can change it over here. Output. Uh, I don't see a place for latency. Advanced. No latency. Ah. Retry delay. Stream delay. Hmm. Not sure how I'm going to fix that. So we'll just have to go with it as it is. Hey, Patrick, how you doing, mate? Down under. What time is it there? It's got to be, what, uh, midnight? It's going to be about 8 in the morning, uh, 10 in the morning there, isn't it? 
time is it where you are Patrick so I'll just put the uh, email address in here so it's uh, you food at lazy cook Pete dot com so that's the email address you need to send uh, your stuff to and what I'll do is I'll, I'll probably punch that in a couple of times let me just um, get a text editor up so I can just copy paste copper Yeah, 10 a.m. I thought it would be. Yeah, play, places of interest is also good. Anything that, that really takes your fancy. I just want to I want to know more about you, where you live, what you're eating, that sort of thing, you know. So it's 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 called the You Food Challenge, but uh, I don't see why not, Carol. Oh, great. Thanks, uh, Patrick. I look forward to seeing that. Um, if you email me at that uh, email address I just put up, then I'll uh, I'll just send you let you know where to upload it to. It'll be uh, somewhere in the cloud. I haven't decided yet. Hi Vashti uh, and Lisa. Lisa's here. Hi Lisa. Lisa's in the house. Um, I was just looking at some of the videos when you were visiting Trinidad and I love those videos, love here from Trinidad well love right back at you from North Wales Vashti and thanks, um, I'm glad you uh, glad you get some value out of the videos um, I had a wonderful time on both occasions and um, I've got my, oh he's my brother look, he's my, this is my brother say hi to the camera Dick how do you do? That's Richard, and he's doing the right thing. He's he's doing a good thing here. It's a good and noble thing. He's bringing me a cup of tea. Well, there we are. Love it. Thanks, bruv. Yeah. <clears throat> so we've not said hi to. Have I said hi to everyone so far? Everyone says hi, uh, Dick. He's out of earshot, I think. It says currently keyframes are not being sent often enough. Are you getting re what's the um, reception like you, with you guys? Is it all right? Oh, that's nice. Um, that's lovely, Carol. An, an art gallery. You're in New York, are you not? Did you say New York? Reception's perfect. So, um, oh, it's probably because, um, probably, uh, three likes. Thanks for the likes, boys and girls. They all help. It all helps me. Um, Keyframe frequency of four seconds or less seconds or less stream settings keyframe uh -huh. ultra low latency stream latency no can't change that uh. stream health poor Oh well, it's um, oh, it's no use obsessing about that. Let's just get on and do what we're doing. Oh, it's in New Jersey. 
Oh, great. Um, I've, I've never been to New Jersey. I've been to New York on a couple of occasions, couple, three occasions, but I've never been to New Jersey. So it says open widget. <clears throat> oh, so you have a friend who owns the. Oh, great. I, I get you now. Ah, right. Uh, it, what, is it modern art or is it classical art or what's what what sort of thing we're talking about carol did you patrick patrick used to live in new jersey how about that it's pretty impressive <laughs> a well-traveled man oh because you're a musician aren't you paddy Oh, from R Rochester in Staffordshire. Oh, well, that's not too far away. Um, um, you might have to remind me again because I've got a head like a sieve. It's uh, I've, I've even got a head like a kitchen in instrument. Speaking of which, uh, for those of you in the UK... Uh, I've actually got an Amazon storefront now. I'm thinking of doing one in, for the United States as well, but I think that's going to be in, intensely more um, difficult to do. But I, 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 maybe I'll open a store in the United States and Canada as well. But it's just for... Um, really just for um, things like this. So I've got kitchen knives and tools. Let's go in there. And the the categorized. So I've got things like spice jars, my spong mixer. I mean, how gorgeous is that? That is a bit of classic old British spong. I'm going to use it for mincing, sausage making. Although I do actually have a sausage maker, which is back here this this sexy thing here that's nice so it either clamps to a table or or it's a suction it's got three different uh, nozzles and the sausage comes out the pointy end yeah, so quite handy. And I think on ingredients, I think I... I uh, so I've also listed a few knives, non-slip mats, that sexy mallet you saw me using in my most recent video. So that's just a, a, few, a few bits. So my Amazon store is linked at the bottom of each of each video. So um, there's other categories. Let's go back. That's just kitchen tools. And uh, so what else we got? Ingredients. That's got the salami skins. It's just for the skin, that is. Sausage skins. These are sort of things you can... So basically, anything that I'm buying from Amazon that you see in my videos, I will try to link if I remember and put them in in the uh, store. So there we go. There's a edible mustard oil that's for making Indian pickles with. Really useful. Right. Let's see who else has joined us. Who else is with us now? Oh, Reza, hi from Toronto, from Toronto, Ontario. Yeah. 
thanks for joining us, Reza. Let's have a look. Who else we got? How many have we got on? I've got 12 watching. Who's not said hello? Hi, Mark T. That's Mark and Rosa from Central Maine. Thanks for joining us. And uh, let's just kill that and you can go back to that now. I've done enough selling. <laughs> yeah, uh, thanks, Reza. Thanks for joining us, mate. I really appreciate it. Really do. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Roster. Oh, I see. So, Roster, Roster in Staffordshire. I need to look that up, Lisa. I really do. need to look that up. Okay, as, uh, as does anyone have any questions about the uh, U Food Challenge? Hi, Anissa. Uh, Anissa from Trinidad. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate you calling in. And long-time friend, Shah C. is here. Shah has been with me almost since the very beginning. So uh, it's lovely to see you. Aisha, Aisha, from Texas. Oh, you live in Texas. I've been watching a lot of um, David Sriracha's videos. I'll see if I can get him up here because he, he, I really like his stuff. He, he lives in Houston. Uh, I don't know how close you are to Houston, Shah. I know Rishmi's in uh, Houston as well. Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> Let's find David Sriracha. There you go. His name's David Tran, but he calls himself David Sriracha. And he's here. Let's get him up on your screen. Um... So that's David's channel. He's, he lives in Houston and he goes around all the spots within an eateries in and around Houston. So it's, yeah, I love his channel. He's great. And he's got a really nice sense of humor too. So there you go. David Sri Aracha, all one word. And... Let's just put that in there in case you want to have a look. Emma's in the house. A Flavour of Life, a Sustainable Way. That's uh, my dear friend Emma, with whom I spent some time this time last year, almost to the week, in uh, in uh, at her homestead in Nova Scotia in Canada. Marvellous. Right, let's uh, kill that again. Emma, thanks for joining us. Nice to see you. <laughs> hey, you. Yeah. Have you heard back about Miles, Emma? Is he all right? Been worrying about Miles. He's been, uh, he's had a bit of trouble with his health, and he's a dear friend and uh, neighbour to Emma. So uh, I'd like you to all um, pray to whichever gods you pray to, and uh, put in a good word for Miles because he needs everybody's help right now. <clears throat> Anyone got any questions about the uh, about the live stream, or, or or any questions in general you'd like to ask? Yeah. Okay. Uh, don't forget to email me first, Patrick. Uh, I'll um. I'll send you a. a 
a, a link for somewhere to send all that. I just don't want to put it out. Otherwise, I, I'll get I'll, I'll, to genuine, uh, you know, uh, viewers. I'm happy to send it, but uh, I don't really want to get spammed by, um, you know, there's a certain type of person out there that likes to ruin people's lives. Oh, well, uh, fingers crossed uh that uh emma and that's uh that is a bit of a worry because they're for older people in such um dire straits pneumonia is not um not a good not good news really is it so uh positive thoughts and prayers for miles please Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Carol. Right. Okay, we've got eight concurrent views and I've had nine likes. <laughs> nine views, nine likes. We're, we're doing well. That's 100% record then so far. I'm very impressed. Love you to bits, all of you. I really enjoy these lives. I should do it more often, shouldn't I, really? I really should. I think so. I think there's a little bit of lag between um, what's happening on my right screen over here and what's happening up here. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. It's um, it's very humbling and very endearing. Thanks. <clears throat> so I might show you a little bit more of my shop while I'm here, while I'm waiting for more uh, information, more questions. Let's uh, chuck that up again. So that's this stuff is um, if you want to make my uh, I'm going to put up a recipe soon for KFC, which is called my name for Korean fried chicken. <laughs> and it is one of my favorite recipes. I'll probably do uh, a week or two weeks of Korean stuff because I fancy doing showing you my emergency kimchi recipe as well. The one I and I don't use Napa cabbage. I use um, I use um, white cabbage. So to do that, you'll need stuff like this: Korean red pepper flakes, red pepper powder. Very important. And uh, you'll need some fish sauce. I use uh, squid brand at home. I really like it. You can get that just about all over the world. Um, what else we got? This one's quite in. I, I, I like to use Thai mushroom soy sauce. Really love that. Healthy Boy brand. Really nice. Can't always get it though. Um, you see, look what I got here, you Trinis. It's a must-have for the Trinis, this is. And uh, Duck and Goat. I, I've, I can't, and Slap Your Mama. you got to slap your mama. That's uh, Louisiana's gift to the world, that is. Wonderful stuff. Yeah, I also use, uh, usually you, this one is superb if, if you're in the UK. Meridian toasted sesame oil, superb for stir fries. Uh, 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 there are some excellent Chinese brands, but this is the best one I've ever used. It's really, really good. Uh, what else we got? Uh, xanthan gum I mention quite a lot when I'm making sauces. That's a useful one. Um, and I don't know if you saw my beggar's chicken, but that is where I got those huge lotus leaves from. So if you're doing anything that needs wrapping and um, 
throwing on a fire that's uh, that's the one to use these are dried lotus leaves so if you can get them they're currently unavailable on this ticket but uh, yeah so that's it mostly spices uh, Chinese black beans salted black beans I don't like buying the bottles of black bean sauce this stuff uh, I like buying uh, buying the salted black beans and working it up from scratch right let's see okay Where are we doing? Right. Uh, I th Let's have a look. Let's see who's been saying what. All right, darling. Yeah, no worries. Um, so welcome. Yeah, slap your bama. It's uh, from Louisiana. It's it's very, a very popular, um, very popular brand of uh, Cajun seasoning. Uh, it's really good. It's a, perhaps a little on the salty side, but it's really really good. Uh, it's nice and peppery, and I love me pepper. Th thanks, Emma. Mushroom soy sauce. Does it contain MSG? Uh, I think it does, um, uh, I th but I think you can also buy uh, mushroom soy sauce without MSG. It's a little more expensive, but not a lot. Uh, but you'll probably find it in um, in the large uh, Asian stores in uh, in America. I think a lot of uh, Americans. Um, are uh, averse to using MSG. I'm not too worried about it because I lived I lived in Hong Kong and I've never had any um, I've never had any ill effects from from using MSG. MSG appears naturally in foods and certainly in foods with that umami flavour. Um, I believe the late great Anthony Baudrain had the same opinion as me as well. <laughs> so, but that's just that's just one or another. But each to their own. And if you don't, you know, if you do get the effects from it, then don't eat it. Uh, it's simple as that, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, Patrick. It's. Uh, let's put it in again oh not that one that's david Truracha. let's uh, put this back in for you you food at lazycookpeat.com that's i'll paste that in again for you there you go that's the email address now in the chat in the live chat Yeah, if if you've got allergies, you've you really got to be super careful, haven't you? Really, um, you really have to be super careful if you've got allergies. I've been very very lucky all my life with food. I can eat just about anything, right up until twenty sixteen when I was diagnosed as type two diabetes. So now um, I manage it without insulin and without medication and because i i'm on a, a a low carb diet and it works it works works for me and my doctor my G gp says um whatever it is i'm doing just keep doing it lactose intolerant and diabetic lisa poor you that's not so good is it but uh so you've got to stay away from Milk products, cheese, oh, oh, milk and cheese kill me. Having to give that up, I, I can, 
I can eat. I, I eat a lot of cheese because it's, uh, oh, you know, it's um, low carb, high fat. Yeah. You like the stickers? Oh, these behind me. That's not me fridge. That's me. That's my wall on my desk wall. These are all. Um, these are all stickers. These are Patrick's stickers. This one and that one and this is f from gb my mate in canada and just about that's from trinidad and tobago it's just a postcard uh everything else on that wall is from emma and her children so it's lovely it's uh some of these pictures have been up a couple of years now maybe i should take some down put them in scrapbooks and then come to Emma with my begging bowl and get some more off the girls I think <laughs> oh blimey Lisa that's pretty hard going that's not very pleasant hi snow pony yeah the, the, the trick I found to, to low carb all right let me tell you I was sneaking little bits of carbohydrates. I was having an extra slice of bread. Uh, I was having a couple of extra chips and or a, a scoop too much of potatoes. And I found it really, really hard to give up. As soon as I got strict with the carbs, it was easy. Stop craving them, stop, I don't know. Carbs have got drugs in them to make you want more carbs. And uh, as soon as you, you get strict, all cravings will drop off. Um, the difficulty then is finding things to eat that you can snack on without having to include carbs. Because if you think about it, carbs are in everything. Potatoes. Fruit. Fruit is full of carbs. It's got fruit sugars in it it's full of carbs um potatoes pasta rice rice is very high in carbs especially white rice so um and, and that stuff if you're diabetic that stuff goes straight almost straight into your bloodstream and the more refined the carbs are so white bread white flour um rice um, white rice it, it, it goes very quickly into your bloodstream <laughs> 48 last week well many app returns for last week Lisa oh that'd be nice yeah uh, Emma thanks I will. I'll, what I'll do is I'll I'll take some of those down and put them in a scrapbook, keep them forever. <laughs> and uh, that's it. So, yeah, uh, I, I, I do still eat rather well, though, I'm afraid. And there's no sign of me wanting to stop that. You don't get to these sizes. By being scared of food. So yes, uh, Snow Pony, it, it it it's the discipline is easy as long as you're strict with the carbs. That's what I found. That's my um, my experience of it. Is is it's easy as long as you're you're strict but uh, for some people I mean I, my brother would consider low carb diet as well I think he would probably rather be dead because he, he so loves his carbs he, he likes you name it he can stuff his face with carbs all day and night whereas you know I I, I, I was never too fond of them the reason I made myself diabetic was through drinking too much beer 
and I was drinking way too much. Now it's a rare treat. Emma's just... Oh, English and Lincolnshire sausages. Is that on YouTube? Uh, on Facebook, I mean. Let me see if I can get that up. Uh, uh, Emma. Let's see Emma's. There we are. Let's get that up for you so you can see. So, these are Emma's sausages. They look really professional, Em. You've done a really good job of them. And they look just, they, they do look very English, don't they? They look just like English. So, what we've got, English homemade English sausages and traditional Lincolnshire sausage made today. Made with Tamworth Cross Tamworth Cross Heritage Breed Free Range Pork. Deer and Pork Sausage Day tomorrow. Yeah. Wow, that looks fabulous. I'm going to give that a big love. And give it a yummy as well. Let's do that, shall we? Yummy. That's fabulous. Right, where was I? I don't know if any of you can still hear me. Am I still getting out there? Oh yeah, I see. It's just my camera that seems to have stuck. Hi, Lady Likeables. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Lady Likeables has got uh, a channel. Uh, Paddy Joe Cooking has got a channel. Uh, Flavour of Life is Sustainable Way has got a channel. Who else has got channels up there? If you've, if you've got a channel and you want others to join your channel, Put an X in the chat, and then you can all join each other's channel. Just put an X in the chat, just like that. Okay, and then you all, you'll all know that you're. Uh, yeah, so you can still hear me then, M. Um, yeah. What I'll do is I'll. Um, Video capture device. Turn it off. Turn it on. looks like it's moving what happened is I had a glitch on my uh, internet and I heard it it went it made that stupid switch noise and then uh, it seemed to affect mainly my camera so let's get that back up there. and we'll lock that in and put that down there right so we're back in business. Uh, right, where are we? Uh, Carol, Emma, your sausages look like they came from Whole Foods stores in New York City. Yeah, they do, don't they? They look really good in those uh, packs. They do look good. Am I coming over a bit muffled, did you say? 
my voice. Um, that might be a bit louder. I don't know. It might be because I was leaning against the microphone. I'll just put that out. <laughs> um, so, oh, a bunch of boozers, listen to them, look. Yeah, Emma. Oh, I also forgot to mention that I made a PB cheesecake. Emma's PB cheesecake. It's got to be done. I think I've got a video on that. I have, haven't I? I have. Um, has, have you got an, a video on that one as well, Emma? PB cheesecake? Yeah, you don't want to run out of alcohol, blimey. So for, for those of you who don't know, when you're actually on somebody's channel, there's a search up here, but that searches the whole of YouTube. But if you want to search within the channel and find something, you want to go down to this search search bar here and type in what you're looking for. So if you want to do, I'm doing cheese cake, and we'll, we should give a short list, list of the cheese cakes on mine. This is the one. It's, I did it as a peanut butter pie. I swear that is just so gorgeous. Uh, let's give you a link to that, just so you know what Emma's talking about. And Because if you, if you like PB and you like sweet things, um, you've just got to do it. And that's all there is to it. It's as simple as that. So I'll paste it in there so you get it. There you go. Anyone who wants to see that, and we're back. So, Shah's taking off. Thanks, Shah. Thanks for joining us, and re uh, really appreciate Shah's been with me a long, long, long time almost since day one I think very very close to when I started and uh, um, I really really appreciate y you guys are, uh, are what makes this for me and I, the money's nothing it's not even worth talking about but it's um, just the interaction with you guys in the comments and uh, as long as I can I will try to get back and answer all your comments because uh, it's a big de deal for me Oh, you can see that, look, down here, in that next bit, you can see that mallet, that uh, meat mallet. Mm. Maybe I should put my camera over here so you can see me. Is that right? Yeah. Oh dear. That's dreadful. Put it back over here. Making the right pig's ear of this, aren't I? I think we're back. We're kind of back. That'll do. Right. There's uh, currently 10 concurrent viewers. I'm very, very uh, pleased. And I've got seven likes so far, so I'm doing pretty, pretty good. Uh, the likes do make a difference. The thumbs ups, uh, they really do make a difference and they're really useful. So um, if you're watching my videos, I would appreciate it if you like the video to give me a thumbs up. Because they really help. They help with the page rankings and how they turn up in search results. And the more that see me... Um, the better off I'll be. Uh, I want to be able to eventually turn this into uh, at least a, uh, a reasonable source of income. That would be nice, but I think I need 
Um, I'm cruising towards 10,000 subs now, so um, that that I've got a mental thing going on about that at the moment. <laughs> so uh, tell your friends if you like me. Tell your friends if you don't like me. Tell me. Anyone got any questions? Yeah, well, it, I, I, you know, there's there's times when you just want to quit. Uh, you know, when it when it stagnates for a couple few weeks and you don't see much movement in it, um, that that really is a bit disappointing when that happens. But uh, yeah, let me just show that sausage again that's pretty impressive isn't it pretty impressive what you've done them in packs of six by the look of it two four. Yeah, of course there's six of you of course you do <laughs> right I've been going uh, 47 minutes so far so unless there's some questions coming in uh, I'll give it another couple of minutes and then we'll uh, we'll scoot if you are hovering wondering whether to come in and say hello come and say hello because uh, I don't want to shut down without saying hello to you because you're uh, you're special to me very special sausage butty with a fried egg sausage and egg banjo that's just perfect isn't it the brown sauce yum what about the brown sauce lady likeables what do you think brown sauce or you're not a brown sauce girl <laughs> La lady likeables was in um, Turkey a couple of weeks ago uh, she did a, a video about in Bodrum, weren't you, in Turkey. What a fabulous place to be. Especially when there's no one else around to bother you. It must have been marvellous. Yeah, I, I, uh, every, all the time I travel, I, I usually travel on my own. I like to travel alone. I think you get, um, you do what you want to do and you don't, you don't have to toe the line to what someone else wants all the time and uh, I like to go I like to go native I like to go bush when I get there you know so uh, if if I went to Greece to the Greek islands I, w I wouldn't even book a place I'd just go there with a pocket full of cash and find a little taverna and, and, and move in and um, spend half my time in the kitchen with the the cook finding out how they do things <laughs> yeah yeah I saw you were traveling alone in that or at least you didn't you didn't show anyone traveling with you yeah it was I enjoyed that and, and you, are, you are rather good at that uh, lady like all you should keep keep doing it I know you we all hover and we all think oh is it worth it and all that but it only takes one um, good video to go viral and uh, and you'll go up. I mean, I went up from five to eight thousand just because of COVID. I was five thousand in March, and by the end of March, I was eight thousand. And uh, one, another one of my videos got gained some popularity so 90% of everything I I get from uh, AdSense YouTube Google is uh, comes from three just three videos three um, I don't know if any of you know um, Mr. Paul um, Mr. Paul I think uh, I check, he's probably got something like 30 40 videos in total um, but he had one his, his Scottish shortbread uh, 
video he just went totally ballistic and he, he's, he's up at about 12,000 he's only been doing it a year or so I mean he just got lucky well he got lucky plus he's got great content you know um, but he's just a guy like me you know he's working out of his kitchen he's I think he's uh, he's got a professional kitchen he does bakery and things like that but um, it's I really like his stuff so he's, that's Mr Paul's is it Mr Paul's pantry yeah the food was terrible in the hotel. <laughs> Don't you like Turkish food? Uh, is it is it Helen? Your name is uh, LL. Hi Brian. Uh, DJ Brian Muhammad is in the house, boys and girls. Say hi to Brian. You lost six pounds on that. I, I went on a, an alcohol diet and, and I lost three days like that <laughs> yeah but it's the regulars who count it's the regulars that make your day <laughs> yeah it's a Spike Milligan joke, that is a good old Spike Milligan, God arrest him, he was fantastic. He was a complete nut. Absolutely nutter. I remember they did one those an audience with and he was really, really old, you know, getting towards the end of his life and uh, he was sat on a stool and there was all these celebs and that firing questions at him. And one of the celebs said, uh, I understand that, that, that Prince Charles is a big fan of yours. And Spike Milligan says, yeah, the grovelly little bastard. <laughs> you can only get away with a joke like that when you're really at the end of your life. <laughs> you're going to have a wee drama, are you, Emma? You're going to have a little nippy sweetie. Oh gosh, that sounds horrible. You got a load of bolshy Russians there, and the food was crap. Oh dear. Um, I love Turkish food in general. I think it's really rather good, you know. Uh, but um, it's not if you've had a rather unpleasant um, event like that, is it? Not very nice at all. But uh, do you, you go all inclusive? Uh, I I tend to when I go anywhere anywhere there's euros anyway that's for sure that oh, spike medicine was a nut absolutely crazy but if you like monty python that kind of inane humor um really spike milligan was the daddy of all that he, he he's he was the first one to do anything like that and he was doing it years before Monty Python even got into it uh, Monty Python kind of capitalised on that inane humour but uh, Spike was really the true originator of all that kind of thing and the word genius is bandied around far too much these days but Spike Milligan was a genius God rest him Yeah. Ginger water for six weeks. I love ginger. I do like ginger actually. Uh, as long as it's got no sugar in it, I'll be fine. I've got. Uh, it's it's hard for me to get good fresh ginger here at the moment, but uh, I've got ginger powder which has all the same properties when reconstituted with water yeah. oh yeah uh, Spike Milligan's tombstone 
I told you I was ill. <laughs> Oh dear, good old Spike, what a nut. Let's get a picture of Spike up, shall we? For those of you who don't know who we're talking about, let's get a picture of wonderful Spike Man again. Um, let's put that up for you. There you go, in all his many guises. What a nutter. He was a great guy. A wonderful wit. Contemporaries of his, or probably just a little later perhaps in life, were um, Peter Cook and Dudley Moore. Dudley Moore gained a lot of fame through Hollywood, but uh, uh, of that duo I always thought Peter Cook was the by far the cleverest of the two they were both brilliant but uh, Peter Cook was uh, somewhere in Spike Milligan's class yeah and he served with the Royal Artillery in the Second World War and he wrote a couple of books about it that were absolutely hilarious um, amazing stuff wonderful stuff Spike Milligan boys and girls questions I'm looking for it was a great epitaph do I talk to Rishmi yes yes I do I'm in uh, daily weekly contact with Rishmi she's a, a dear friend of mine and quite rightly so I'm, I'm very close to, to all her family I've, I've, I've been to Tr Trinidad twice and spent time uh, with them and enjoyed their wonderful hospitality and their amazing cooking and also Batman, uh, Batman uh, appears occasionally on uh, Rishmi's Taste of Trini channel. Um, and he's a, a real character and a great cook too. Um, right, where are we? Sustainable way. So yeah. Um, Brian, I've stopped doing the cab service. The 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 risk versus reward just wasn't didn't make it worth my while. Uh, it's it's taxi driving is a risky business, and uh, if anything, the towns in the United Kingdom are getting less safe uh, rather than more safe. And uh, I think with all this ridiculous political polarization that's going on in the world at the moment um, I, I don't see that improving I see it getting worse writing on the wall and all that hate to bring you gloom and doom but it's it's just not improving anywhere is it is it Hel Helen Lady Likables um, I, I live in Rill in North Wales Mine's the house with the cardboard in the windows. Um, yeah, the, the Emma, the cab thing was you. Well, you know better. I talk to uh, Emma every day, and um, she knows my pretty much knows my thoughts. In fact, she probably knows me better than I know myself. No, I don't. I'm originally from uh, Nottingham. I was born in Hucknall, in Nottingham, in the uh, in the Nottinghamshire coal fields uh, out there. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, my family moved. I moved to Rill with my mother when my parents split up. I moved to Rill with my mother, my brother, 
my sister and I, we moved to uh, to Rill in 1964. And in 1968, I went back to live with my father in Nottingham. So, uh, if I have an accent of anything at all, it's a, it's rather dilute because I've been in the army for uh, 17 years and lived in the south and lived in North Wales. But uh, I've got a rather I've only lived in North Wales since 2014. This time, so. Yeah, well, you can still uh, have a reasonable sort of holiday in real, but uh, it's, it just gets a bit gore blimey nightlife wise, you know. First question in the pub quiz is who the hell are you looking at? Brian, friends are always welcome here, always welcome, and that goes for any of you that are my friends here and uh, everyone in this chat at the moment is a friend um, your, your friends you're part of the the lazy cook family so yes anytime Richard's great he's, I, I can just hear him um, moving about uh, he's just come up to, to go to bed I think Yeah, the spotted dick pudding, Sandra. It really is great. Yeah, I love it, yeah. And uh, welcome, Sandra. Um, Sandra's in the house, boys and girls. Say hi to Sandra. Derek and Clive, Patrick, yeah, you know, they, they were very close to the bone. You couldn't play that now. It, they, they, they just... You'd have all the social justice warriors screaming about it, wouldn't you? If they played it nowadays. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's coming into the... Uh... What? Uh, where do you live, Patrick? Is it in Vic? Did you say you live? I can't remember where you said you lived. Was it Vic or... Oh, or um, Queensland. Yeah, I'm built for the cold. I am. I don't like it when it's too hot. I don't think my friend Emma does either. She she always don't, don't like it when it's too hot. You can't go. You can't escape from it, can you? Really. But Zoom live video cooking. Yeah, my, my kitchen setup isn't really, it, it's not set up really for light, it's too small and my camera angles don't, you know, I've, I've, I've looked at it, I've tried, I've thought of putting up a, a, a temporary table but no, no, nothing works, it's just too small a space. Uh, I think there are probably caravans on real front that have got bigger facilities than I've got here but... It's, uh, it suits us and it doesn't cost us an awful lot to live here so um, and it's all paid for so it's not like we've got mortgages hanging around our neck um, Melbourne that's it Melbourne yeah I've been to Melbourne I like Melbourne actually it's a nice city I, w I was in Melbourne on um, on uh, Remembrance Day of 2010. Yeah. Yeah, it was Remembrance Day 2010. And um, I was very, very moved. There was a, a very smart Australian soldier with his uh, uh, with his campaign hat. Um, I'm not sure what they call it, but the floppy hat anyway and playing the bugle right in the middle of the town and I was very moved by it uh, I've not seen anything quite as nice as that actually it just seemed to be rather spontaneous I was very touched uh, let's have a look 
hi Jen Jen thanks for joining us everybody say hi to Jen Jen Yeah, I'm kind of in agreement with you there as well, Lisa. Yeah. I think people are wising up to it. It's um, <coughs> it's just fear porn, and once you get, it's an old political trick that's been used for centuries and millennia of keeping people in fear and making them compliant and doing what you're told. And uh, it's it is a it's a very worrying situation. Why would they be doing it, and why are they doing it now? Uh, just when so many things seem to be coming to a head politically, it's a bit bit worrying, a bit scary. <coughs> so, anyone else got a question for me? Yeah, all right, Emma, lovely. Uh, thanks for joining us. Love you loads, love to all the family, and I'll uh, speak to you again tomorrow night, or tomorrow sometime. <laughs> yeah, these RFID chips, uh, that's another th thing that's been proposed, isn't it? Um, uh, really, really, really... Ooh, cashless society. Not sure, I like all that. It's just uh, erosions of freedoms that we've we've enjoyed for uh, for a long time. Yeah. You get people scared enough, though, and they'll beg you for it. Mark, <laughs> we get plenty of cold here, we get a lot of weather in North Wales, we do get an awful lot of weather, uh, incredibly high winds, I've got a, um, I've, I've, in a couple of my previous videos, going back a couple of years, I was bragging about my wonderful rosemary bush out there, but this year the wind caught it, it was a victim of its own success, it had grown bushy, and the wind caught it and it's basically ripped it up, it's dead. So I've got to find myself a groundhog in uh, rosemary to put in next uh, next spring. Yeah, I, I like the idea of the Swedish model where the, you know, you know Sw Sweden went for herd immunity and uh, they seem to have done all right about it. I mean, the, they say, oh, it spikes, it spikes, but they're, they're treating it the same way, and uh, they're having no, no worse than anyone else, really. And they're not restricting people. Uh, it's uh, very early days for such a challenge. No, I've, I've not had any emails yet at all. So um, um, I'll I'll give it another couple of weeks and see if anything turns up. But if not, we'll uh, we'll have to scrap the idea. Pity, but there you go. Um, how I like it, Mark. Um, I don't know. I I'm more built for the cold, I guess. Uh, the cold doesn't bother me at all. Um, the only thing that bothers me is is if, as I'm getting older, you know, I'm not so steady on my feet, so I'm a little bit worried about ice on underfoot. But that's about it. But the cold really doesn't bother me at all. Um, the coldest I've ever been was in Canada in 1976. I was in. Um, Alberta with the British Army and I remember working at uh, the railhead it was the end of the training season and we were shipping all the ammunition back 
uh, great pallets full of 120 bat and all sorts of uh, ammunition natures and I was forklift operating and lifting it onto the railway carriages and it was so cold we were in eager beaver fork trucks with um, heated cabs and we were managing no more than 10-15 minutes in the cab and then we had to go and warm up for 10-15 minutes in the port cabin so it was really really that cold it was dreadfully cold um, cold like European most people um, in Central Europe um, elsewhere they wouldn't they wouldn't understand it and the only people that really would understand it are people who, who live in those cold climes in the northern reaches and uh, and Russians of course because they have some savage winters as Napoleon and Hitler found out to their cost Uh, where are we? Janice has joined us. Hi Janice. Thanks for joining us. Say hi to Janice, boys and girls. Uh, Janice asks, Will regular white eggs work in homemade mayonnaise? Uh, yes. Uh, when you're making mayonnaise, it's important to have every, everything at the same temperature. So you, you want to leave your eggs out if you keep your eggs in the fridge you want to leave them out for an hour um, your oil your mustard and your vinegar all want to be the same temperature otherwise you get this the problem of it splitting um, I, I did a video on um, one minute mayonnaise that you can make just in a uh, in a fruit jar and then you just pop all the ingredients in and whiz it with a, with a stick blender and boom you've got mayonnaise real quick one minute mayonnaise um, do, you, do you want to see that uh, recipe I'll post a link to it if you want to see it uh, anyone just let me know in the comments yeah Lisa you can if, if if you want to enter the uh, just a few photographs from your mobile phone of what you know you, what you're cooking oh cook this click cook that click um, if you want to write the recipe up and uh, send me that in a text file that'd be great but uh, there's no pressure I mean it would be nice to have some some entrance for it so. Oh, that's the one you were watching. Oh, all right. Thanks, uh, Janice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just it, I forgot to mention it in the video because I was in a hurry to get it out because it was a one-minute video. So I forgot to mention that it, having it all the same temperature was was kind of important. Um, yeah. Uh, you could also make mayonnaise with powdered eggs believe it or not powdered eggs powdered mustard vinegar and oil um, just the same about a tablespoon of uh, powdered egg um, I'll do it and of course powdered egg you don't have to worry about uh, salmonella but the vinegar element in mayonnaise would normally kill the salmonella so you don't really it's not really that it's just that if you use whole egg you're better off using two yolks than a whole egg generally but if you want to make it super quick bam bam straight up <laughs> yeah I mean, I'd like people to enter Lisa but it's I don't I just don't want my friends to feel pressured enter it if you can if you can't don't bother it's all right I'll make a video of something else yeah powdered egg powdered egg was you could use it for loads of things Re reconstituted powdered egg makes great scrambled eggs 
no problem at all as long as you make it up according to the instructions so you just add the powdered egg to some warm water and whisk it up until it looks like whisked eggs and then when you cook it it looks like proper scrambled eggs and tastes like proper scrambled eggs um, there's a couple of a, a couple of the MRE reviewers you know the, the, the military meals reviewers that, that have, have, have done content on powdered eggs and I think um, I think what's her name um, oh I can't remember her name now uh, super popular YouTuber anyway she did something on uh, powdered eggs as well I believe oh you can you can order them from Amazon I think powdered eggs pretty sure yeah definitely almost certainly they were um, a staple in Britain during the wartime uh, rationing they all came over from America and also in the uh, in the Soviet army rations they they, they had American powdered eggs uh, on that came over on the Lend-Lease program um, because they were our allies in World War Two fighting against Hitler yeah it's, uh, Lady Likeable says they sell them in Asda under the free from uh, section so if you've got anything similar where you live you know where they've got um, uh, specialist foods for people with special dietary needs there's normally a section in most supermarkets and uh, you'll probably find um, powdered eggs there We're about one hour and 18 minutes so far. Anyone got any more questions about anything? Have you got any cookery questions that uh, either I or someone else in the comments could answer? I've got my microphone on a swing arm. Oh. How cool is that? Makes me feel like I want them radio broadcasters. <laughs> uh, do I know how to make real gluten free pastry? Um, off the top of my head no uh, I know how to take gluten out of uh, out of flour though out of uh, out of dough and there's a thing called seitan sa sa that is uh, used to make vegetarian meats in the Buddhist communities of Japan and China and uh, it's basically wheat gluten you make a wheat dough and you wash it you wash it, you wash all the starch out of it and you end up with a uh, wheat gluten. But that's the opposite of gluten free of course. <laughs> I look like a personality. Carol, you're so nice. I've got a face for radio, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah um, gluten free pastry what I generally do if, if I need information like that I, I, I just go to YouTube and just put it in um, and then I tend to read down t just out of sight so I scroll down and then look at the recipes that are not in the top three because I like to support the smaller channels you know
Paddy glowing with health. Yeah, and Victoria bitter. <laughs> My favourite vegan recipe. Oh, that, Paddy, is easy. I'll put you a link in. I'll go find it and put you a link in. Uh, here we go. This is my favourite vegan recipe that I that I make. Uh, let's have a look. Share, copy. In the link now, uh, Patrick. So you basically use um, zucchini, or if you can get it uh, from the Asian stores or the Indian stores, uh, go get some doody bottle gourd. But then you just peel it and you grate it up. It's the flesh is a lot like. Uh, zucchini or um, what we call courgettes uh, you grate it up you salt it and then you you strain it I just put it in a sieve and let it hang in the sieve over a bowl and then drain the juice off it so that and then give it a good old squeeze get all the juice out of it and then mix it up with gram flour which is bisan or chickpea flour um, and um, uh, chickpea flour and um, uh, normally onions, garlic, ginger, you know, Indian sort of things and um, Indian herbs, uh, dhania, uh, coriander as we call it and then um, mix it up into little kuftas uh, and then just uh, fry them or roast them and then you make a curry sauce using the liquid that you drained off them uh, and then you poach the little meatballs uh, kuftas in, in, the, in, in the curry gravy uh, I learned that while I was in Hong Kong from the uh, p policeman's wife the policeman was uh, a Sikh in fact all the police were Sikhs on the island um, not on Hong Kong Island, but on Stonecutters Island, there were the Army Department Police, they were all Sikhs, and the inspector became a friend, and his wife, uh, the wife of Inspector Tirath Singh, he, he, she taught me how to make this dish, only she taught me with doody, and I've, I've, I've played with the recipe over the years, and, and I've adapted it to be used with zucchini, and it is by far my favourite uh, vegan dish. And it is. It's super fabulous. I, I, I've cooked it for friends and they've said, oh, what kind of meat is that, Pete? And I say, um, it's uh, zucchini. <laughs> Lupin flour for gluten -free. No, I've never seen. I've, I've Gluten-free pastry I've seen made with, uh, with coconut flour and almond flour usually uh, sometimes a mixture of both and something like xanthan gum that uh, product i showed you earlier or guar gum or uh, so something to um, something to stabilize it lupin flower I wonder if that's is that yeah what 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 I do f um, instead of for things where I don't have pastry uh, I would just do like a quiche without the pastry I just do it uh, put the ingredients and cheese and eggs and everything straight into a a baking dish without pastry and then cook that and then 
use that as my quiche for that. I don't mind vegan food as long as somebody else is eating it. No, I don't. I, 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 I enjoy quite a few vegan foods. They're rather good. Yes, Carol, a uh, bitter melon. Uh, it's a fantastic vegetable. Uh, I, I've noticed uh, a trend that nearly everything that's bitter is good for diabetics. It must be that whatever it is that makes it bitter is very good for regulating blood sugar so it's it's exceptionally good for diabetics in fact in uh, indian cuisine uh it, 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 it's it's quite common in, in in india to have your pharmacy actually in your food and it's that's probably true for, for quite a lot of asia uh, and they'll they a diabetic for instance would have a breakfast of uh of uh, Kerala of uh, bitter melon and eggs. Uh, another one isn't um, isn't um, Christophine. Isn't that also good? Uh, uh, that grows. Uh, it's a wonderful stir fry vegetable. Christophine is. Looks like a, a pear or a plum, doesn't it? When it's hanging from the tree. What's that, a burning mouth? What's that, Lisa? Not if you have a burning mouth. Oh, I, I'm, I'm a pepper mouth anyway. I, I love hot food. Huh? Uh, I th when, when I went to Trinidad the first time, a uh, couple of the young lads of the family, they were, I think they were trying to spike me and just seeing them what my tolerance was. and they were, they, You could see them, they sort of ushered something towards me and I started eating it. And I think they were expecting me to blow it out but uh, I, I quite enjoyed it <laughs> and plus I knew something like that had happened when I got to Trinidad so I've been conditioning myself with hot sauce for a week or two before I got there <laughs> looping flour is from the looping flour yeah well 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 who'd have thunk it Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a bit, it's a bit Moorish. Of what you do without carbs, you, you're really replacing it with. Um, you shouldn't be replacing it with too much protein. You should be actually replacing it with fat. So you need to eat fat, and your body, when your body metabolizes. W if you eat excess of carbohydrates your body stores it as fat but if you eat excess fat your body doesn't store it as fat <laughs> piece of content <laughs> yeah the hottest thing i've ever eaten Yeah, it was that ALS challenge. Do you want to see it on video? I'll show you. I'll show you on video. Oh dear, that was that was that was savage. That was. And let's get that one. These are early videos. These are this one it's in the chat now oh my face went purple in that video and the other one I did was and you need something like this to uh cool off after it that's the drink I had on the side
Yeah, post it. I might have to okay it if you post it. Um, I'll, I'll probably have to sort of a, a, agree to it. But if you post it, Snow Pony, I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll accept it. Right, where am I? Yeah, they're fairly short videos. The 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 uh, ALS video was. Uh, was uh, for, for the uh, we call it motor neuron disease it's the disease that affected uh, oh what was his name I can't remember now Heck, my brain isn't working Stephen Hawking it's the, it's the disease that uh, affected poor old Stephen Hawking the, the only thing with all these gluten-free flowers and things is they're all so expensive over here the, ch the cheapest one is coconut flour I guess but uh, almond flour is expensive um, I made a few almond flour type bready things or burger buns and they were all they were all just eggy so I learned to do without them I, I just don't I don't bother with them um, bread or bread substitutes just don't bother with it just get on with life <laughs> I do have a little nibble now and again you know but as long as I keep my uh, daily intake below for a guy of my size it's about uh, about 50 grams of carb so that's what 50 grams of carbs is about four, uh, three, three slices of bread I'm very low. Steamed treacle pudding, not the steamed version. I've got um, the the one I I put a video up for was uh, not the steam version. It was the um, let's put it. It was just a uh, the oven bake method, but uh, the oven bake method is faster, and I, I hate to say it, but it tastes better than the traditional one. So the oven it's coming up now. I'm just pasting it in for you. That's the treacle pud, but you need golden syrup. Uh, there is a link in the. Steve Owen has done a video on how to make golden syrup. Uh, do do not substitute corn syrup; it's useless. Uh, no other kind of syrup will do to, to make it. It will be un It won't be authentic, and it will get you to an early grave. That corn syrup rubbish. Um, Tate Tate, or rather Lyle's um, golden syrup is made from nothing but cane sugar. Um, and it's inverted with lemon so it's really that simple you just make a sugar syrup and boil it down and then uh, invert it with lemon juice it's very simple but if you look here under my treacle pudding uh, that's uh, I'll get you the uh, I'll get you that link and that's uh, this is Steve Owens recipe on how to make your own golden syrup there is no substitute for golden syrup uh, I, I think you would make a rather nice one with maple syrup but uh, that would be pretty expensive and uh, it wouldn't be authentic besides you know there's a special flavor you get from golden syrup it's just fantastic really yeah. Lady Life was uh, you taking off, are you? 
All right. Well, thank you very much for joining uh, joining us. I really appreciate you uh, you coming and joining us. And uh, I'll be I've got you um, on the like, and I've got you. I've clicked the bell, so I'll be watching your videos and dropping comments and uh, supporting you. And every now and again, I'll I'll put one up on my social media. Uh, I don't do it all the time for everyone, but uh, uh, now and again, uh, for for recipes that really catch my eye, I'll definitely put up there. So you know, if you've got a nice recipe that you want to put up, or something that really catches my eye, I'll I'll sprinkle it over my social media. Patrick's rather good at it; he I, he gets a lot of his put up there, but I kind of like his style. <laughs> Uh, it's all right. It's um, it's difficult when you're struggling with a new channel. It really is. It's it's hard going. Um, you put a lot of love and you put a lot of effort into it, and you don't see any return for a couple of years at least. So, it really is. It's not not easy. Oh, that's great, Janice. Uh, you can also send uh, the recipe to youfood at lazy.cookpeat.com, Janice, and um, I'll enter it into the uh, food challenge. Hi, Bren. Bren's dead is live. Bren's dead is in the house. Bren, how you doing, Brenda? Yeah, I know. Um, I'm a night bird anyway. Yeah. It doesn't cost me anything, Patrick. Just, uh, just as long as I'm not in a hurry, I'll, I'll sometimes do it because when I do share it, I share it along all my, all, uh, my you know, uh, over four different social media. Um, Places I don't insta, I don't do insta. I'm not interested in that. From what all I can see about insta, it's a load of bloody narcissists posting pictures of themselves all the time. Little hooligans in the house. Thanks for joining us, and thanks for joining us, Brent. Thanks for the likes. Uh, those of you who dropped a like, the thumbs up, it all helps. And when you're watching the videos too. Um, it's uh, I, um, I I don't like begging, but uh, you know if you are enjoying it, please give us a like because it uh, it really does help and it helps with the page rankings and it puts me in front of more people, so it's a lot of help. <coughs> All right, who else is here? Um, is there anyone I missed? If I've missed you, right, Lisa's going off <laughs> well I'm glad I made you laugh Lisa uh, it's, it's lovely to interact with you people I really love you loads you great great I'm, I'm blessed I'm truly blessed I've got some uh, good friends out there great friends friends that keep coming back as well and that means that means a lot you know that's proper friends that do that really nice Bren, you have to go and get yourself a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, it, it, wouldn't it be nice if we could do, uh, you know, like, I think in like 100 years in the future they'll have replicators and they'll be able to sort of put something in to something that looks like a microwave and send it to you, you know, replicate it <laughs> at your end like a 3d printer for food <laughs> don't laugh it could happen oh it doesn't matter if uh, recipes aren't copyrighted anyway uh, Janice I I, I, uh, I shamelessly copy recipes but um, 
I don't copy copy them but what I do is I look at a recipe and and then I think oh that's a good idea and then I'll go to another video look at another recipe there and I'll say oh that's a good idea as well and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll put to, put together play with it for a couple of weeks and then make a video um, but by the time I've made a video it's my recipe because I've made it my own you know and that I, I've got no problem with people copying my recipes, copying and verbatim. Um, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. I don't mind at all. And, and good food is it doesn't belong to anyone. It belongs to everyone. Um, yeah, and and the best thing about food is sharing it. So share it. Yeah, I, I don't, I, I've, I'm, I'm struggling to see the point of Instagram unless you, if you're making stuff and, and selling it, but it's just pictures, isn't it? You upload pictures or from you, but it only works from your mobile phone. So I can't, if I can't upload it from my my workstation here, I'm not interested really. Oh, the yogurt chicken curry, yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yes, yeah, good one. Um, you don't very often see that in even in Indian restaurants in the UK and that's because it's uh, it's a North Indian it's more Punjabi sort of North Indian Pakistani uh, cuisine that is it, where they use a lot more um, dairy produce and uh, the the meals are generally milder than they are in the south uh, less hot um, and they're what they lose in heat they make up for in aromatics so they're, they're a lot more aromatic generally and creamy and then you go up to Kashmir in it and, it and and then into Nepal and Tibet and it's very very aromatic lovely stuff <laughs> it is I think it is for food channels I don't I don't you, you I, I can see its use in you, what you take is a, a teaser picture and then link them back to your video maybe 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 something like that but there's no easy automatic mechanism for posting YouTube to Insta there isn't one but not that I know of um, if, if if there was I'd be doing it so I generally use a uh, I post to Facebook, Twitter, um, my own blog. I don't know if any of you have seen my own blog. I'll put it up here. I do have a blog, and I'll put selected pictures in there. There's one there from uh, Patrick Look. And there's one from Alicia. Um, where are we? Yeah. One. Yeah. I just post up ones I like, you know, ones I like the look of. Uh, I also post my own in there, of course. But the, this goes back to. 2011. Let's see what I had in there. It's a German Gurken from 2011. That's in my pre video days. So I've got quite a few on there. What I'll do is I'll um, I'll put the link in the thing if any of you are interested in it. So, um, I don't know if any of you have uh, ever used OBS. It's uh, this. Um, it's it's how I manage to get all my um, uh, 
Sorry, uh, I got distracted. Yeah, BLT is nice. That's a really nice BLT brand uh, that she's made there. She's a complete nut, Alicia. She she made it. She's recently gone over to being a bit more chatty and funny and that. Uh, she was very matter of fact before, but she's she's got quite a, a robust sense of humour, and she's she's uh, she's a uh, turned it more into a sort of a interactive comedy sort of thing now which I really enjoy and and she's technically brilliant Alicia so we've had Bren is a scouser that lives in northwest Florida uh, Mm. Yeah, BLT is nice. Tin of spam. Yeah, spam fritters. It's got to be done, hasn't it, really? you got to do the spam fritters. I get, I get a bit, I get a bit of stick for uh, for my love of spam, but I don't care. A Ritu. Hi, Ritu. Thanks for joining us. Everybody say hi to Ritu. Yeah, I love a BLT. Nice. Ritika. Ritika's a really good friend of mine. Ritika's got a channel. Let's give you Ritika's channel. Let's go to Ritika's. Uh, let's find that. I've got it bookmarked somewhere. Uh, Ritika. Kitchen. Let's give you a link. Uh, Ritikas is in the chat now. That's Ritikas channel. So, ah, oh, thanks, uh, Ritika. Ritikas in India, aren't you, uh, Ritika? She's in, um, oh, in the middle of the Indian landmass, over towards Bengal, on the, on the uh, east, eastern, in the eastern end of India, and she's a fantastic cook. You've got to see her, 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 her videos, really good. Um, if you saw me do a video of making an Indian chili pickle, that was Ritika's recipe. I just I just copied it more or less verbatim, and then uh, put it up. So uh, if you like that kind of thing, if you like Indian pickles, and I love them, um, and lots of other wonderful Indian dishes, um, her videos are um, short to medium length, not not very involved. She, she's she really does great instructions. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you've got a channel you want people to um, to join and sign up to, if you put an X in the chat like that. Uh, people will know that you want uh, you want some more people to subscribe to you. So th those of you, um, no pressure, everyone, but just go and have a look, see if you like it. If you like it, sign up, and uh, we can all uh, we can all benefit from it. Thanks, Snow Pony. That's very very, very kind. Thanks.
Oh, look at all that gorgeous food. Yummy. Oh, this, this is Pani Puri. Did I put that? I think I shared that. I must have done, didn't I? Did I share that? Yes. I saved to my snack attack playlist and shared to my... If, if you want to have a look at some of my favourite snacks, I've got a playlist called Snack Attack. And uh, I put lots of great... Uh, lots of great snacks in there, mostly Indian snacks because I'm, I'm addicted to them. But Pani Puri is, is my favourite of all the all the Indian snacks and it is perhaps arguably the best street food in the whole world. It's wonderful. It is amazing. It's got everything. It's got sweet, sour, crunchy, savoury and spicy. It's, it's just... It's even got soft... Uh, wonderful it's a bit carb rich for my current diet but it really is gorgeous so uh, if you want to know how to make Yorkshire puddings ask a Yorkshireman if you want to know how to cook Indian food ask an Indian chef ask an Indian cook they'll tell you If you want to know how to be a millionaire, don't ask a bloke in a pub, ask a millionaire. Life advice from Pete Thomas. Look at all that. Mutton curry, look at that. Oh. As you might have guessed, I'm rather fond of Indian food. I do love Indian food. I, f I follow about eight or nine Indian channels religiously. <laughs> <laughs> all different re regions you know I love it I like it there's a um, I follow a Bengali channel there's a Kashmiri channel that I watch there's another one from Gujarat <laughs> I just love it all <laughs> yeah <laughs> right where are we now uh, yeah, little hooligans. Indian pickles are, uh, what's the word? That that at first they're an acquired taste. Uh, they're very unusual to a Western palate because they're sour and very spicy and sometimes fiery hot. Uh, but they came to me this way. The first time I tried them, I went, oh god, that's really this is like when I was a young man and then the second time I went to an Indian restaurant I thought no I don't I won't try that again and the third time I was thinking you know I, I actually if I think about it I kind of like that and then w when you start eating it again so I started with lime pickle and then I started going into chili pickle and mixed pickles and brinjal pickle and garlic pickles um, and now I'm addicted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Nesha. Nesha Reshma Bar Barat. Hi, Nesha. Where you come, where you, uh, where you from, Nesha? You're either from Trinidad, Caribbean, or somewhere in the Indian subcontinent, I guess. Everyone say hi to Nesha. From Trinidad, whereabouts in the USA do you live, uh, Nesha? Hot pickle sausages. Bren, I've never had anything like that before. I want, that. that's your recipe, send your recipe into you food at lazy dot lazycookpete.com Bren even if you just send it in as a recipe sheet uh, maybe with a picture 
love to see that to that that address I bet they do well the thing about anything fiery hot if the recipe's got fiery hot in it um, you can you can turn that down you just don't put as much chili in it and it's the same uh, if if it, if something calls for hot chili powder for instance and you don't like hot then just use a mild madras powder if you're in the UK or if you're elsewhere in the world um, it, uh, Indians don't use curry powder per se they, they, they'll they'll use each individual spice and they'll add it at different times according to their taste so it, generally Indians do not use curry powder it's, it's just not what they do oh thank you thank you uh, thank you uh, Ritika lovely thank you Uh, Trinidad is another place with absolutely amazing street food it's, it's, uh, the people who went to Trinidad um, the Indian di diaspora in Trinidad uh, the, there's a, they have a holiday in Trinidad called Indian Arrival Day and uh, the, I think it was in the 1840s 1843 or somewhere around that um, that the first indentures arrived um, the British brought indentures to, to fill the vacancies left by the uh, emancipation of the slaves and um, the, a lot of the uh, Indian indentures they weren't paid in money all they could do was give them, give them land um, uh, it's not the proudest time of British history but uh, it was certainly better than slavery I guess <laughs> um, but now the uh, population of Trinidad is is ethnically about half and half um, people of African origin and people of Indian Indian or uh, uh, Middle Eastern origin so there's uh, in in one family I'm in my friend Reshmi's family in the wider family there are Muslims Christians and Hindus so it's uh, people talk about uh, diversity that's a that's a whole family of diversity <laughs> itself so yeah. 6.30 Ritika you're so kind coming to see me first thing in the morning but you haven't had your breakfast yet you should Go and have your breakfast, Roti. Or dosa. Do you have dosa for breakfast where you are? I know. I know. Um, I know. Sheba. She she puts a lot of dosa recipes up. See you later, little hooligans. And really, thank you very much for joining us. I really appreciate you coming along. Um, your family you're all family if you're here now you're family and if you're here earlier you're family <laughs> 6.30 yeah I like mild curry as well I like hot curry mild curry love every kind of curry has anyone got any more questions because I'm just about to call it a day because I've been two hours up and um, I think it's time to call it a day so we'll give it another three minutes you better go get some sleep now Ritika you're so so kind for joining us Ritika's a lovely lady and a good friend of mine so um, make sure you you go and sign up and give her the thumbs up and lots of love Two hours, mate. Yes, two hours. 
so I'm going to call it a night now and uh, everybody take care good night Ritika good night uh, Patrick good night Brenda uh, good night Little Hooligans is already gone good night Nesha uh, where we got I think we've exhausted Snow Pony. Good night, Snow Pony. Um, I think we've got most of them now. If I've missed you, I'm sorry. Good night, Pete Thomas. That's me, isn't it? That's me, that is. Uh, Janice has probably gone already, but good night, Janice. Lisa's gone. That's it. Scrolling back anyway. Um, Mark's probably gone by now. So good night, Mark. Uh, Good night.